The remains of Tropical Storm Lee are causing big headaches up and down the East Coast. There's been apparent tornadoes in Georgia damaging more than 100 homes there, along with heavy rain stretching all the way to northern New England. Now that pattern will continue through today as the center of that former tropical storm moves into the northeast. It won't be gone until tomorrow night. This morning, flood watches and warnings are up from Tennessee to New England. And as the wet weather moves northeast, Patterson, New Jersey is back in the spotlight. President Obama visited the city on Sunday to see the terrible flood damage after Hurricane Irene. CBS News correspondent Michelle Miller is in Patterson with the very latest there for us this morning. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Chris. Well, residents in Patterson were just beginning to dry out from Hurricane Irene when the Passaic River jumped its banks. And to give you an idea, if I were standing right here last week, I'd be a good 12 feet or more underwater. And the remnants of Lee are promising to flood this area yet again. What's left of Tropical Storm Lee is continuing its march north after dumping heavy rain throughout Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi Monday. It turned low-lying roads into canals and caused millions of dollars in damage. Not only did we have the heavy rain during the day on Monday, that's going to continue today and into the first part of Wednesday, and that means there's going to be a very high flood threat. Lee also spawned several suspected tornadoes across Atlanta and surrounding communities. Down trees, crushed cars, and damaged dozens of homes. Cherokee County was hard as tit with about 100 homes losing siding and roofs. In Chattanooga, Tennessee, Thomas Yates' grandchildren nearly drowned in their car. I had to pick both of them up basically in one arm, each arm, and grab them and just literally force the door open. The system spans 1,700 miles and is expected to douse much of the Northeast, which is still struggling to recover from the torrential rains of Hurricane Irene a week ago. There's the potential for two to four inches of rain. Some of these areas might see over six inches uh, today and into Wednesday before things dry out by the end of the week. Here in northern New Jersey, flood victims spent their Labor Day continuing the cleanup from Irene, even as more heavy rain was on the way. Can't catch a break. A lot of our neighbors are sick. They're coughing. Their children have asthma and bronchitis, and it's just, it's just been it's been terrible. And the problems here in Patterson are twofold. One, it it is prone to flooding during a heavy rainstorm, but the Passaic River just can't handle the overflow or the downpour from those communities upstream. And that's what officials here were stressing to President Obama when he came here on Sunday. They'll be stressing it for a long time. Chris? CBS's Michelle Miller in Patterson, New Jersey this morning for us. Michelle, thank you.